<laughs> so we thought we were done. Ugh. Oh, that easy. I just paid $2,200 for this abandoned storage unit. It's been up for auction six times. I've been the high bidder every time. Take a look at the ground. Look how many times this thing's been cut. One, two, three, four that we can see right at the door. Couple reasons I've been super interested in this. One, I love safes. They're just safe sitting at the door. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love safes, right? Two, shoes everywhere. Three, that looks like a bunch of sports memorabilia back there. And if we can find some signed stuff, this thing could pay for itself really quickly. Let's just take down a box here and not get hit in the face by a dolly. Okay, I guess we got a box. Which is, this one looks like living room decor. We got us, is that a leather belt? It is a leather belt. And then just decor pieces here. Let's go a little deeper, pillowcases. There's some brand new something. What is it? Brand new mm, shower, shower curtain. curtain. Hey, new is new in there. Let's go a little deeper. Some shelves, some more shelves. Some, nah, not too much else in here. Well, let's get to some known money. I could see, yeah, buddy. Oh, look at those. Nice. Brand new, I think. Look at the brand. Yes. Maybe worn like once. Maybe just worn once. Like super clean though. And what size is it? Size 14. One off. One off, one more size. I could have fit them. These are the Adidas Frozetics, and they go for about 55 bucks, but keep in mind the bigger sizes, like 14s, usually go for a bit more than that, so we're gonna call it 70. The Nikes here, boom, super clean again, probably worn maybe one time at most. These Nike Kyrie 4s go for about 70 bucks, and again, bigger size, and we're gonna call them 80 instead. Super clean shoes, and what size are they? These are 13. You went one down. Well, could you possibly go one up for me, maybe? Like these red and white Nikes here? What are they? Oh, no size. All oh. George. 14, again. But check them out. I mean, they're basically new. Basically new. These Nikes are selling for about 35 to 40 bucks on average. I'm liking this so far. I'm liking it. Let's go to another one. Mm, nice. Those are so nuts. <gasps> what? Yeah! Those are 15. Those are 15. Yeah. Hey. I'm about to keep those. They look nice. Woo! That was real nice. I just got me a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Thank you very much, unit. I appreciate it. These Nike Kyries and bigger sizes are listed for a lot of money, as you can see. I could probably get 100 to 150 for them, but honestly, they're going to my closet because they're really nice, and it's the first time I found a pair of 15s that are in good condition. What about the Pumas? Oh, yeah. Bang. Nice. Check them out. Brand spanking new. Size 14. Let's go. These brand new Pumas are going for about 55 bucks, so we're gonna call them 60 because again, the much bigger size. Uh, let's just pull out a box. Okay. I'm starting to get buried by shoes. I don't know what's in there. It sounds like metal. Let's go ahead and rip the tape off and find out. What do you guys think is gonna be in the safe? That's the big question. Let's see. Ugh. In here, we got, well, more home decor it looks like. Look at the little globe. Okay. A globe. Uh, paperwork. You know what? I want paperwork though, because I want to know what this guy's name is. Does it have his name on it? It does have his name on it. That's what Good. I want to see. Thank you. Now I can look this guy up. I think there's a printer at the bottom. Is it? Yeah, that is a printer down here at the bottom. Looks to be in really good shape too. That could be another 50 bucks. I used his name to run a background check because I was curious and besides some driving things like 10 plus years ago, this guy has a perfectly clean background. I found his social media. He's not sick, dead or anything like that. And he seems to have a nice stable job. So why he lost the unit is beyond me and why he's been trying to save it for six months at least also beyond me. If you have any idea, let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go to another box here and we'll use this box as a table. Oh, I really want to see those frames because it looks like a lot of signed stuff over there. Let's see. I gotta get this tape off somehow. It just says closet. Let's see. What did you have in your closet? Ugh, that's what I want to know. One, two. Ugh. Oh, well, that's no fun. Is that all sheets, blankets, and towels? Literally, that's the entire box. No fun there. Let's go to the little box right here and see what's in this guy. Now we got a knife. We're more prepared now. It's totally mine. I did that. Let's see. Um, that is just a crock pot. Nothing but a ugh, crock pot. Pretty good shape though, easy 20 bucks. Let's go to the little box right here. Oh, that one's heavy. That's a lot heavier than the rest. Let's see what's in this guy. Oh, is this kitchen or what? That's plates. These are all plates. What is this? Uh, I know what these are. These are what they used to give people back in the day when your baby was born. A pair of bronze shoes right there. So that is the guy's name for sure. Let's set that over here. Uh, 
Distilling company, got some liquor. Bourbon whiskey. Got his picture here, which, yeah, can't be showing that. Let's go deeper. What is this? Just home decor. Mm -hmm. Looks like military father. And then, if you look at the rest, all this here is all plates, dishware. Really nice, really clean. What's in this one? More pictures, so we'll make sure we leave those behind. So we're looking at the whiskey and just notice that it actually has a signature on the back. Does anybody recognize who that signature might be? If you do, please let us know down in the comments. And that is the name of the whiskey right there, if that means anything. Definitely let us know. So I did a quick Google search on who owns this company, Secrets Distilling Company, and I was able to figure out that it was some guy named Leighton Moore, which is exactly what the name looks like. And we were even able to find this Facebook post where he was signing bottles that looked exactly like this one. Now what it goes for, I have no idea. So if you know that, definitely let us know down in the comments. Trying to pull this whole box out of here. Oh, that looks like Larry Bird jersey right there. Ooh. We'll get to that in a second. First off, these are definitely brand new. Look at those bottoms. They've never seen the ground before. Yeah. These are size 13 right there. Okay. Look at these Nikes. Those are some weird looking shoes there, aren't they? I was they? like, why are they so dirty? But look. They're meant to be like yeah, that. Yeah, they're meant to be that way. Those are brand new. These are size 14. These are the random ones. Huh. It's always the ugliest looking shoes that end up being like the really expensive collectible ones. So that very well might be very expensive. When I look up sold listings of these shoes, you can see one sold for 105, one sold for 195. And the 195 is this size 11 and a half. And the other one is the smaller size. So we'll just be safe, say somewhere in the middle, maybe 150. Look at this box. What does that even say? Solar or what? Solar something. Yeah, I can't read it. Solar I in Maybe the sun's in here. I don't know. It could be. You know what's cool though? I like when people pack with this kind of paper because you can look at the date and see how long it's been packed away. Uh, maybe I could. No, it's not that long actually. August 3rd, 2022. So, year and a half or so. Let's go into here. Well, some wall decor pieces. It's got a $15 price tag on the back. Oh, naked people, my favorite. More wall decor, more wall decor. Is that all this is? Uh, a head. I got a head. Never like nothing like finding a human head inside a unit. There's a big box down here. Ooh, it's covered. Oh, is that a jewelry box? Uh, Ooh, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. That looks wooden. Let's get all this decor stuff out. Come out. Ugh. Well, I think I might see what this is. And Brandon, you might be happy. Let's see what it is. Cause look, oh, look. that's two pot. Yeah, that's Tupac. No, but I saw these. Look, there's a bunch of vinyls in here. Michael Jackson. Um, who else is in here? Let's go through a couple. Michael Jackson. Look at that Wu Tang. <laughs> Look at this one. A Tribe Called Quest. Miles Davis. These are a lot of good vinyls in here. And I think the reason I'm pointing that out because I think this looks like a giant record player at the bottom. Let's see. That's huge. It's freaking massive. If that's what it is. Oh. Look at this. Mm, that's actually what it is, isn't it? Vic Victrola. Check that out. That looks old. I can't tell if it's old school or meant to look old school. But either which way, that thing is sick and I guarantee you it's not cheap. Should I go to another box or pull out one of these sports memorabilia pieces? Uh, we've had plenty of boxes, so I say over here. All right, th that means you have to stop right now and leave the video a thumbs up if you want me to do that. You have to do it. And subscribe if you're new. So we buy storage units all the time. What's this one? Oh, look at that. That's got a Beckett too. Wow. Look at that. Larry Burr, signed jersey, Beckett, COA. There's the number. This is the number you can use to authenticate it to prove that it's actually real. That is a signed jersey. I guarantee you that's gotta be at least a few hundred bucks on the bottom end. Signed card. I wonder okay. if that's actually legit or printed signature. I didn't even notice that. Look, he signed it right here too. Anywhere else? No, no just that, that one. Seen, no. But that might be a second Larry Bird signature. I don't know, but that's gotta be a good chunk of money back. So I looked the certification number up on Beckett to confirm it was a legitimate and it was. So we went to eBay and the last one that's authenticated by Beckett to sell was $800, but it's also a much smaller frame job than ours. So ours could definitely be a thousand dollar piece. I got a lampshade. Nice. Can't say much about a lampshade other than the fact that it's a lampshade. Post, Post whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I might keep that. Look at that. Muhammad Ali. I hated every minute of trading, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now. You live the rest of your life as a champion. That's a motto that can be taken in so many different avenues in life. I'm about to keep that. That's cool. Yeah. Let's go to this one right here. Oh, Redskins. Gross. But we do. This is Northern Virginia. So we're right, right here, look. by DC, which has a lot of hardcore fans. Hmm. See, I can't tell. Is that handwritten though? Or is that it's printed on the thing? It looks handwritten. 
Hmm. There's one down here too. Yeah, I can't tell. So this one, actually that's got a little PSA. Actually, you know what? That is a copy of a PSA. That's what that is. This is a printed thing. But this is just custom frame job is what it really is. But check out this old Super Bowl tickets and stuff. Even if it's all fake, just the frame job, I bet you that's still a couple hundred dollars easy just because it's nice and looks really nice. Look at this one. If this is real, this might pay for the whole unit. Check that out. Sean Taylor signed board. And if you're not from DC or you don't follow football, I don't remember how many years ago it was, but somebody broke into the dude's house and I think he came with like a machete or something like that. But anyway, he got shot in the leg and it ended up killing him because it was just the right spot. So that could be worth a lot of money, but again, at first glance, it looks like it might be printed, but I've seen stuff of his just frames like this sell for four, five, six hundred dollars just because it's Sean Taylor. So that could be worth a lot of money too. So we just fought with the mattress so that I can get to these two boxes here. Let's go through these two. Let's see what they are. What does it say on the top? Whoa. Library. Not library. Maybe they had all sports memorabilia in their library. Please, please, please. Yeah, no. These are all binders for school, dry truck driving, Tupac magazine, Quran, religious stuff. Uh, and what did we say last two videos ago? You always find these books about becoming a millionaire and getting rich in people's storage units that they couldn't afford to pay for. There's something ironic about that, but it happens a lot. All that's in here is just books. I tried to pull the box and this came with it. What is this? Oh, it's like a SpongeBob house window, right? <laughs> That's what it looks like. It looks yeah. like the window of SpongeBob's house. Boom. I'm exposing everybody. Look how many people are watching me. I can't see nothing. Awkward, huh? Can't see nothing. <laughs> okay, good. Let's put that there. So let's get the actual box now. So you get to it. And let's see what's in here. This one's just labeled solarium again. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, let's see. Cut this thing open. One and two. Well, a plant, a vase, another vase, and like leaves? <laughs> Home decor. There's two bags over here. Okay. I got the one. Let's see what this one looks like exactly. What is this? Uh, is it actually just the glasses it says? Four Let's see. glasses? But it could be anything in there. No, it's four glasses. <laughs> That's just dishware, more dishware, and more dishware. Yes. You want some pistachios? pistachios? They are only about a year and eight months expired, you know? Might still have some crunch to them. Let's set this aside because the other box is the one that I feel like I'm going to be a little interested in. It looks like a shoe on the top. And if that whole box full of shoes, this could be a lot of money. Go into the abyss. Let's see. Oh, come here. I got to get it out. Right here. Ooh. Nice. Is that what I see? Let's see. So. Pair of Reeboks right on top. As you can see from StockX, the last pair of these had sold, sold for $230. And these are size 13s. These are the ones that aren't as clean because they didn't get to keep their box, but they're still not bad at all. And check these out. Reeboks again, right here. Look at these New Balances. New Balances are randomly super expensive. I learned that in a few units ago. So these could be worth a lot of money. We don't know. I want to use this pair to kind of illustrate my point with the sizes. So we're on StockX. We found them. You see the last sale was 105 bucks, right? But if you try to buy them in size 13 like they're going for, the cheapest one you can find is $335. Even though the last one only sold for 100 So I'm going to just call them 100 bucks to be safe. Here's another pair. Here is this one. Where is its matching shoe? This? Oh, that's a Nike right here. But look in here. Here's another big old. Is that a Black Air Force, basically? What size is this? 13. Ugh. At least I got one pair. I can't complain. There's the other Air Forces. Looks like a pair of Jordans on me. Is it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice Ooh. pair of Jordans, size. 13. So we found these Jordans here on StockX. As you can see, the last sold pair only sold for 162, which is a lot lower than what they usually go for, 46% less. But if you open this up and look at the cost, most of them are 300, 371, 350, well over $300. So I'm just going to call it a $200 pair of shoes. Again, where's the other one? Right here. Come here. Boom. Nice pair of Jordans there. Let's see. Oh, night. Well, 
Here goes the other Nike. This fell. This one looks bigger. It's probably that's a 14 out of 15. But still, lots of nice shoes, and even a pair of dress shoes at the very bottom. There was about five other pairs of shoes in that bag, totaling up to about $300 in value. Let's get this box right here. This is super light. Oh, it has pillows on it. Well, but it feels like there's something hard in there. Where did that knife go? I just had. There it is. Let's see if that's all that's in here is just pillows. It feels like it's something hard at the bottom. And it is pillow. And oh gosh, there we go. Well, no, no. All pillows. These are probably to the couch. Yeah, like those right look, here. Yeah, those look like they're to the couch. And the rest of it's just used pillows. Check out these boxes here. Nike size 14. Uh, that that pair is not too clean like the others, but still pretty nice overall. That's a good one. Oh, this one, Jordan's size 13. Some interesting color choices though. Mm -hmm. But the bottoms look dirty, but the top of the shoes, well taken care of. Last sale on these Jordans is again $105, but if you want to get them in size 13, you're going to pay $167. So we'll call them $120. Can't, aw, well. It was bound to happen eventually. Empty Out of box. all the Nikes and Jordans, I would have rather it happened in this box. But maybe this pair is in that bag. What is this camouflage looking thingy here? Ooh, what is, what is that? that that we got here is the question. Let's see, it has his name on it, but where is the thingy at? Where's the zipper? Let's see what's in there. I don't like the sound of it. It's a bow. It's a bow. It's a nice bow, it looks like. Let's see. Bow, oh. oh. What does this go to? <laughs> that might be in there. <laughs> what does this go to? My gosh. Oh okay, my but gosh. we got a really nice bow. But this this has piqued my interest just a little bit more than the bow because <laughs> I have to know what that goes to. But this bow here, it says Hawk System. It's got a bunch of arrows with it. Uh, it says Golden Eagle is what it says, 55-70. Now okay. that means nothing to me. If you're a bow person, let us know what you think in the comments. Let's go through this box right here. Ew. It says pillows and blankets on it. So you know what? It feels like that's the case. So I'm just gonna leave it there. This box right here, it says blankets and pillows again. Let's just see if that's the case. Cause I just opened the other one. I couldn't find the knife. That's why I didn't. And yeah. <laughs> Looks like this one's all pillows as well. We found that giant magazine. So now you know where my head's going with this safe right here. I think there's probably gonna be four or five handguns, maybe $1,000 in gold in there. I don't know, we'll find out soon enough. Let's just get this bag right here. Is this all clothes? Just because it is doesn't mean it's not good clothes though. Cause this guy has nice shoes. Let's see, what size is his pants? He has like my size um shoes. What size are your jeans, buddy? 46 by 32, you know what? A little big, a little wide, but I'll take them. They're free. You can't uh, say no to free. Plus, you know, belt technology. Let's see, all clothes. Yeah, that's clothes all the way through. Let's look in this clothes bag right here. By the way, you guys notice, there's a super nice like pallet jack right here too. Let's go into here and see if it's all just clothes. I'm looking for, you know, mostly jerseys, things like that. Purple what rainbow. is that? There's some ugly shirt right here. Right? Unsubscribe. <laughs> Don't listen. I'm just trying to mess with her. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Uh, in here, it's just a bunch of more clothes. So yeah, we're just going to take this. I'm going to toss it ugh, over there. So now we can get to this guy right here. Ozark Ooh. Trail. Let's see what's in the cooler. Is nice it a cooler? cooler? It looks like a cooler, right? Yeah. How do I open it? That's the next cool question. Up. There we go. I'm always scared I'm going to break it. Let's see. What the heck? Let's drink it. Aw. Oh nothing in there but it's still nice let's see what's in this pot right here well there's just a couple of these what are those plastic caps that's all that's in there but spaghetti pot right there and then i want to get to this bag is this one all closed too no heck no it's not we gotta see what that is down here buried underneath of this what is this <laughs> oh. that's what we come for Ooh. Come open, on, baby. Open, open, open. Come on, baby. Bang. No. No. They're in the safe. The They're trick. in the safe. It's in the safe. <laughs> it's in the safe. Watch and see. What is this right here? Just the. Uh, there's a couple shells in there. There's a couple okay. shells. This is what was this though? Glock what? Let's. It doesn't say on here. Okay, that's. I just reached one hand in this bag. Okay, we still have a lot more bag to pull out now. Let's see. Get it out of here. Let's see. Ugh. Jump pillow. What else is in here? Oh. What's this? Cleaning kit, I bet you. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see, we're checking the boxes one by one. <laughs> yeah. One by one. Let's see. Slide, slide. Look at that. 
brand new pair of walkie talkies. These aren't cheap. That's brand new in the box right there. Let's dig a little deeper in here. Hangers, hangers. This is a scale. Nothing else in this one. That doesn't mean there's not another gun hidden in here. So we thought we were done. Look at this. This is the magazine. Well, not the, you know, that kind of magazine. This kind of little booklet. It comes with an AK-47. And, uh, yeah, okay. That is actually all that's in there. But now I'm excited. Let's go to this bag here now. Come on, now I'm interested in the bags. Let's see. What's inside? Clothes, clothes. We don't want to see clothes. We're tired of clothes. What is that? Phone box, no phone. There's a jersey. No, it looked like it'd be a jersey, but it's not. More red skins. Where? You know what I'm looking for now. And the question is, where is it? I'm not seeing it in here. I'm seeing belt buckles. I'm seeing paperwork. And I'm seeing some cards. Any money in the cards? No. No. And. No, not that I'm seeing, but we'll definitely keep looking. Here, here is a big old trash can. It's so heavy. Really? Really? This dude's trash can's full of liquor. It's full <laughs> of nothing but liquor. Are, uh, they, are they signed? No, they're not signed this time. Okay. But they are pretty much all full storage units. I found a basket with hats, and you know what's funny? This dude even has size 8 hat, which is the size I have to get usually too. Washington Nationals, Washington National, Washington Redskins, uh, Washington Bullets, Washington Nationals, and yeah, that's all for the most part. All hats in here. Those are usually about 5-10 bucks a piece too. Check out this very nice bar store here, and it's got a matching one right there, and then this dolly is literally brand new it still has the covering on and everything that's probably at least 100 bucks right there now that i can get to this box let's see what's inside of it then we're gonna have to do some shifting around and see what else we can get into that's the organization yeah i knew it was coming the it sounded like pans. the kitchen pan the cast iron and just a bunch of used kitchen stuff probably 10 bucks at a yard sale so i just went straight jungle gym style i crawled back here the only thing back here is all the cushions for this couch and there's a love seat so it's a nice beautiful combo that looks like it's basically new the box spring to the mattress which looks super super clean the bed frame a tv frame and a tv it's like a 50 inch tv or something so probably another 60 bucks or so but all of that's back there and really clean but there's nothing else hidden box wise so the only thing left to do is clean up and then take the safe outside and see if we can get into it. Ooh. Now we have a Honeywell safe. Last time I found one of these, I was literally able to push this lever so hard it broke the safe open. I'll break this thing. <laughs> oh, you got it. That's how we do it. So we're gonna try that, and if not, we have to wait till we get home and we can get a crowbar. You think this will break it? Yeah. It did the last time. Go. All right, hold on, let's see. Is that that easy? Ugh. Oh. That easy, huh? Never Get buy a Honeywell shit. safe. <laughs> Never buy a Honeywell safe. Well, from first glance, it doesn't look too freaking appealing. I can't lie. Check See, every uh, envelope. I want to look in every envelope. Papers, cards, papers, books, papers, 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 papers. Oh, come on. Not looking good. What about this? Money? No. Papers, papers, and yeah, well. That is how most safe and storage units end up, unfortunately. So 99% paper, but I did find two pairs of brass knuckles, which I think are technically illegal in a lot of places, but they do look cool, can't lie. Well, we didn't find the gun in that unit, but there's a lot of other money makers in there. But if you wanna watch one where we did find the gun and maybe we blew some stuff up with it, click the video on screen and go check it out. Until next time, peace out.